Hello everybody, it's Math Dominus, and today we're going to be talking about Rosalina here. Now, she's probably one of the most controversial SML characters, like, ever. And this is exactly what we're going to talk about. Like, how did she become so controversial? Like, can you tell us why you became so controversial? What? I'm controversial? Oh no, I... I didn't know I was so controversial. I didn't mean to be controversial. I'm just doing what Logan tells me to do. Oh, don't worry, Rosalina. I'm pretty sure a lot of us have made the distinction between you as a character in SML and the one from the video game, so you're good. But yeah, a lot of people think that Jeffy is my least favorite character, but I'm gonna be honest, Rose or Rosalina is just way worse. Ooh. Thank you, Math Dominus. I'm glad I'm not your least favorite character. Get the hell away from me. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, as much as I don't like Jeffy, I have to admit even he has some pretty enjoyable videos, like most recently in Jeffy the Lawyer. But when it comes to Rosalina Rose, she can be so insufferable and rarely does she ever have a good appearance. But why exactly is that? Well, she wasn't always a controversial character. In the beginning, fans even liked her, and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Today, we're going to be talking about the decline of Rosalina, who later became Rose when she became a puppet. So, I'll be calling her Rosalina when she's in her plush form, but I'll be calling her Rose when she's in her human puppet form, even though technically Rosalina's already human. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Besides, she's not even worthy of being called Rosalina. Before we even talk about Rosalina, let's talk about Mario's love life for a second. Because before Rosalina, Mario was massively in love with Princess Peach, like in the video games. But unlike the video games, Princess Peach did not recuperate Mario's feelings. Mario has certainly tried to get with Peach again, but unfortunately, all of his attempts just end in failure. Because Peach, at the end of the day, was an incredibly shallow woman who only likes Mario if he's hot or if he's rich. Now, prior to 2015, when it came to romantic relationships, SML didn't really take these all too seriously. Most attempts at making a romantic relationship were mostly played for laughs. Then in 2015, Rosalina was introduced in American Idol. Now, at the time, Mario didn't really react to her in any way. In fact, he had more of a reaction to Peach, who also showed up in the very same episode. Mario didn't really develop an attraction to Rosalina until the next episode, Rosalina's second appearance in Mario's New Girlfriend. In both of her debuts, Rosalina was kind of a girl that cried a lot. She was a very sad woman. She really didn't have a definitive personality at the time of her debut because she was mostly just crying for the fact that she lost her favorite star, Luma. But Mario was able to cheer her up and it led to them both going on their first date, which mostly consisted them of watching the stars all the way until the very next morning, and Mario has already fallen asleep, so Rosalina basically stayed up all night watching the stars, and then she cried because the sun was coming up. Yet, despite how weird the date went, Rosalina enjoyed it very much, but she still cries over the fact that she lost Luma. So Mario bought her a lamp that contained a Luma, and she became very happy, and it was this very gesture of kindness that made Rosalina kiss Mario, thus beginning their love life. In subsequent videos, it's established that Rosalina is a rather quirky girl who doesn't always get everything right, but she's still lovable and kind, and she can have her very funny moments. A meat special with lots of meat? Uh, oh, oh, you, you, uh, you, uh, you like meat? Yes, I love it. I've been craving it all day. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> She's also a very loyal girlfriend because in the video, Rosalina's ex-boyfriend, she still loved and cared about Mario despite the fact that her ex-boyfriend is there. She harbored no feelings for him anymore. Even her ex-boyfriend D-Money recognized the true love of the pairing, so he lost on purpose because, you know, that's what you do for a bro. So throughout late 2015 to early 2016, Rosalina was genuinely a good character that cared about Mario even if she was a little bit of an airhead sometimes. And then this fucking thing showed up. Now, when Rosalina first met Jeffy, she didn't really seem to care too much about him, other than some mild concern. Hey, that's, that's not my problem, no. 
but to be fair, she did just met him for the first time, so of course she's not going to care too much about him, but as the videos went on, she did start to develop a maternal figure for Jeffy. He even started calling her mommy. Well, I mean, I'd call her mommy too. She started to act like a mother towards Jeffy, and even trust him enough that she puts a priceless necklace that belonged to her grandmother around his neck, clearly trusting him. However, caring about Jeffy alone did not ruin her character. In fact, she was still a very kind and lovable character. Even after Jeffy debuted, it probably has something to do with the fact that Jeffy actually quite had a bit of a gap between his first appearance and his second appearance, with a lot of videos happening in between without Jeffy in them. But I can pinpoint exactly when Rosalina's character started to decline, and that was in the video Jeffy's cell phone. I mean, Jeffy's cell phone. I have no idea why I pronounce it like that. <clears throat> but yeah, I would say Jeffy's cell phone is when I believe that Rosalina's character began to decline. The way she reacts to the messages that Jeffy sends her is just really stupid. Before this video, Rosalina can be a bit of an airhead, but she wasn't dumb. But this video basically made her dumb. Especially Especially towards the end when Jeffy calls a hooker and instead of hearing Mario explain himself, she automatically assumes that he's cheating on her. And while a misunderstanding like this can make people mad, it feels weirdly out of character for Rosalina to just start hitting Mario because she really wasn't established to be a particularly violent girl. I'm not saying that she's not capable of getting angry, I'm just saying that I feel like she would be heartbroken first and cry instead of trying to hurt Mario. Up until that point, she was a rather soft and sweet girl. But I guess to be fair, this was the first time she did it. For all we know, she just gets angry when people cheat on her. But then came Jeffy's bad word, where her character was severely ruined forever. Instead of being kind and soft and sweet, she became mean and vulgar, and worst of all, calling Mario a child, um, the R word. And all because Mario rightfully spanks him for saying the F word. She takes Jeffy's side and firmly believes that Mario is in the wrong, even though she saw why Mario spanked him, and knows for a fact that Jeffy was in the wrong. But she takes Jeffy's side anyway, even after Mario's life is entirely ruined, she's still incredibly mean and rude to him. Where's Jeffy? Why? So you can beat him again? Fatty! After Jeffy's bad word, her character was never the same. She became loud and obnoxious. She rarely supported Mario and took his side even when he's going through tough times and doesn't bother trying to understand where Mario is coming from. She mostly takes Jeffy's side and enables his bad behavior, often becoming extremely childish as him, making her even more annoying. She loses her faithfulness trait and cheats on Mario when Shrek became handsome. Oh, but when Mario only texts Peach a happy birthday message, she gets angry and assumes that Mario is cheating on her and tries to hit him with a hammer. Jesus, what a hypocrite. <laughs> no, I would never do anything like that. Why would Logan ruin my character like this? <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, Rosalina, calm down. Calm down, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be okay. Look what you did, Logan. You made the poor girl cry. Are you happy now? Now, there are some rare occasions where Rosalina does get rightfully angry at Mario, such as in Jeffy's parents when Mario gave back Jeffy to an abusive mother. But keyword, rare. For every time she gets rightfully angry, there's about 10 other times where she's petty and unlikable. Her negative traits got even worse when she became Rose, becoming even more obnoxious, unsupportive, and a serial cheater, making me question why did she even marry Mario? Marvin in the first place. I know Marvin can be a bad husband sometimes, but Rose just gets even worse every day. And at least Marvin tries to be a good husband and make things up to her when he's wronged her. But when it comes to Rose, you'll rarely hear her apologize when she's been in the wrong. Honestly, I'm extremely disappointed because Mario and Rosalina's relationship was genuinely wholesome, healthy, and enjoyable to watch. Their chemistry and dynamics were really great for each other, and to see this relationship take a huge nosedive is just... It's just really painful. I remember when everybody was happy when Mario and Rosalina finally got married in Mario's new hat all those years ago, and... Well, I guess a lot of us regret it now. But the worst part about all of this is the fact that the whole reason Mario even got together with Rosalina was because he was in a very bad relationship with Peach. 
Peach did not care about Mario. She was extremely shallow. She only liked him when he was rich or hot. Mario deserved better than her. And to see him finally find someone who loves him for being him and finally moving on from Peach was extremely cathartic. But nowadays, she's really no different than Peach. Hello there. Hello there. Yeah, that about covers it. So, that was the video. That was the decline of Rosalina Rose. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't think Rosalina here enjoyed it very much. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe so I can have money. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. It's okay. It's okay. Tell me why I'm stuck as a virgin with